Have you neglected your spiritual growth? Well, it's never too late to get cross fit. We get fit with a message of the cross by meditating and continuing in the specific message of the cross of Christ. Look at what it writes in 1 Timothy 4 verse 15 to 16. It says, meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Paul speaks here about meditation and continuing in the doctrine of grace. You see, when your heart continues in something, then it becomes your default. That becomes the way you see life and perceive life. See, you can be consumed with a problem all day long. You can even do your day job consumed by a problem. You've all done that and we've been consumed. But in the same way, you can, can be consumed by the Word of God, consumed by the promises of God. And you can meditate and continue in it all day long. Colossians 3, 16, Paul says, Let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another, in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You see, Paul says here, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. You see, the cross is the, is the redeeming factor that changes your life and takes away negative circumstance. And you can deal with it properly by understanding the redeeming effect of the cross. You can live successfully and strong in the middle of circumstance. And I want to challenge you, my friend, this week, we want to get spiritually fit. We want to get cross fit understanding the message of the cross and getting that to become our default always remember you are highly favored and deeply loved of god